Ah, oh, a dark tunnel, hmm? hmm? Let's go travel down here and see what there is. Ah, guess the correct code. Ah, so I guess there's something important in there. Hmm, okay, so let's try and guess this kind of code. Oh. Ah, yes. Diamonds, yay! Ha ha ha. Now, that was um, bad acting, I can give you that. But, let me quickly show you. This is... Welcome, actually, before I start, start going into there. Welcome, this is episode 3 of Redstone with Bellamy. Last episode we looked at spheres. This episode we're looking at combination locks. This is just my little setup and thing. But what we want to focus on is this. Basically what this is, is a rotary kind of combination lock using torches or anything, any items really. So I can use, let's say for example, I want to use a lava bucket. Pop that in there, and it'll still work perfectly fine. Because basically with the new snapshot, what you can do is now items have instead of four, like that, that's one, two, three, four different rotations, now they have eight. And also now comparators can actually, let me get another torch, comparators can now pick up these signals from these redstone torches or whatever is in the item frame, and depending on what rotation it is, it gives a different output. So today I'm going to show you how to make a redstone um, combination lock using item frames. So first of all, let me just show you. So every time I move an item, if you look closely, like there, you see how that moves? The redstone signal gets either stronger or weaker. So with that, what you can do is that for now, the code is that and that and it's all open. So basically what you'll see is you'll see the redstone signal going along and then when we get when we stop when it's the last block of redstone signal we then put redstone torch down. So what's happening is any um, signal stronger than the um, than this mark will then go through this repeater which will then power this cable this cable wire which will then power the door so that it always stays off stays closed and then likewise this is exactly the same thing and they're all wired together and everything so if I now change it you see how that now this one is greater than it should be here so the redstone repeat is powered which then closes the door and so if I quickly just reset that, that back there and change this one that one's now greater and it's now powering the door as well so let's get on to designing so first you want to start off with a 3x7 area and you just want to create your 3 high wall. That's really all there is to it for the first part. You know, aesthetics. Now then, just so want to place in your door, like that, and your item frames. You make sure they're one apart. Whoops. Make sure they're one apart so that the redstone signal don't collide. Okay, so once you've got that you want to place your items in. And by the way, this is all tileable, so if you want, you can always just make this as long as you want. The more um, item frames you put in, and with the controlling behind it, the spe the um, harder it is for your combination code to be cracked. Personally, if I was on a server and someone had this kind of door, I'd just use TNT to blow it up. That's me, because if it's something important, you want to lock it, TNT we can break through it. Unless TNT's off, you see? Or it's well guarded. Anyway, so... First, we're going to start off like this, and let's just go over a random code. So we'll go with that. You know, I've used that one before. Let's go there and there. Okay, so now that we've got that, so we know that our two item frames are here. So you want to just tile out, whoops, like that. Basically, really far, depending on how strong the signal is. And you just want to get your comparators and place them like that. And now I forgot redstone. That was the most important thing I should have put in my hotbar, and I didn't. So now you just want to run redstone all the way across, and you now see where it stops here. Okay, if you look closely, you can see the, the color difference. And if you have a, if you have your particles off, it'll be kind of hard. Okay, so recommend it for this. Just turn your particles on. Going escape options, video settings, and then particles. I'm under a decreased for some reason. I should have that on all, but anyway. And you just want you don't want to delete this block. You want to delete the one after 
the off one, okay? And likewise for this, you just want to power it along. Whoops. And there you go, that's already, that's already cut off there. Okay, and now what you want to do is where the redstone signal is, you just want to place a redstone torch on top, like that. See how that's off? Next one across, that one, redstone torch. And you now want to go down like that and place your repeater, like so. And now you just want to bring it down one, like so, and just tile it until it goes underneath the repeat underneath this torch here, like so. So when the redstone current is either too short, this will be powered, powering this redstone um, dust, and if it's too strong, this repeater will then power the redstone dust, okay? So you can o this can only be off on one particular setting, which is your code you've selected. So now, after that, you want to repeat that process with how many other ones you've got, how many other um, combination inputs you've got, so we're just now going to all oh, do all this. Whoops, that's not going to happen. And then place a repeater there. Okay, now you want to go underneath your door and place a block like that and put a redstone torch underneath. Now what you want to do is you basically just want to join these two up like so using redstone dust like that. And you now literally just want to hook it up. Let's put a repeater in the process like so. Just to make sure the redstone current's nice and strong. And I've done that too high. Right. You want to go down one like so. And then go like that. Putting your redstone dust like that. And with your repeater, just to be sure that the current is strong enough. And so now when you change your code, the door closes. So yeah, I think this is a very clever door, and again, like I said, this is completely tileable, so you can create multiple, multiple of these. You can create ten of them, hundred, I don't care, as many combinations as you want. But this is a combination lock, which Seth Bling designed, I think, but I have adapted it for my own use. But if you really enjoyed the video, please leave a like, or comment on saying what I should improve on, or comment on what I should make next week. But if you enjoy the video, subscribe, rate, I've never said that in my life, rate, comment, I don't care. Thank you very much for watching, this is Bellamy Pro UK with episode 3 of Redstone with Bellamy. See you later.